The camera on the iPhone takes great photos that it's not hard to fill up the memory with all your favorite videos and snapshots. So it's important to learn how to take the photos off the phone to a more appropriate place like the photo library on your computer. Hi guys, my name is Mike Miguel and in this video I'm going to show you four easy ways to back up the photos on your iPhone. And we'll look closely at options that can automate the task and free up memory on your phone. <laughs> Hello and welcome to iMobile Fan, the channel where I look to answer your iPhone and iPad how-to questions and show you how to get more done on the go on your favorite Apple mobile device. On today's video, we're looking at iPhone photo management by looking at ways to back up the photos on your phone to your computer. Now, I don't believe there's a one-way best way solution to handle this, so I'm going to give you four options to consider. One way to transfer your iPhone photos to your computer is by using the iPhoto Stream feature in iCloud. This will automatically upload new photos and send them to all your iCloud devices when connected to Wi Fi. To start, go to iCloud on both devices, find the iPhoto Stream option, and turn it on. On the iPhone, go to Settings, then under iCloud, Find Photos and turn it on. Then find the My Photo Stream option and turn this on too. To be clear, this option does not store your photos in iCloud Photo Library. They just get sent and received between iCloud devices. Then as soon as the magic starts flowing, go find the photos on your PC and move them locally to the drive. To find the photos on a Mac, open Apple's Photo App and you'll see your photos there. If you're using Windows, you'll need to install Windows for iCloud first, then follow the same. You can find the links to download Windows for iCloud below, in the video description. This next option is an alternative to iCloud and it's what I currently use. It requires the app Carousel by Dropbox. Hey, if you're not familiar with Dropbox, that's okay. I made a video explaining the benefits of using this file storage service with your Apple mobile device. So after this video, go check that one out. Carousel, in a nutshell, is a photo management app provided by Dropbox that allows users to share and sync their digital photos and videos stored in their Dropbox account with anyone and from anywhere. What I like about Carousel is that it does automatic backup just like iCloud. It also has sync options to do it over Wi-Fi, cellular data, and Wi-Fi only. Also, you can access your photos across multiple platforms, not only on iOS, Mac, or Windows. Plus, it also offers a nifty way to free up space on your iPhone. It does this by removing the photos from your iPhone once they are saved in Dropbox. To start using Carousel on the iPhone, download the app from the App Store, and then sign up to a Dropbox account. Unlike cloud storage services definitely have their perks, but one drawback to this option is that it requires access to a Wi-Fi network. But what if that's not the case? To get around situations where Wi-Fi is not an option, or if you don't want to use your cellular data, not a problem. There's always the old school method of connecting the phone directly to your computer. Once the two are connected, you could either use iTunes or your preferred photo management app of choice to transfer the photos to the desired location on your hard drive. Another friendly method to use for transferring your photos off your phone without the need to be near a computer is to use a memory flash drive. The two that I like are the SanDisk iExpand64 and the iFlash Drive HD by PhotoFast. The advantage of these pocket sized flash drive is that they provide a two way storage between iOS and Mac PC computers. You're not limited to transferring photos only, Wi-Fi is not required, or a carrier's network signal, and they're not battery powered. And to further extend their capabilities, you can download apps for these too. For example, on the iExpand app, you can set to auto-sync your photos and videos to the drive whenever it's connected. For more information on both these flash drives, you can find the links below in the video description. Well, there you have it. You have just learned four ways to back up the photos on your iPhone. Don't wait till the memory is full to get them backed up. If you have any questions or would like anything further explained that you saw in the video, please let me know in the comments. I'm committed to bringing more videos like this to help you navigate the iOS platform and help you to get more done on the go 
with your favorite Apple mobile device. So if you found value in this video and would like to see more, please support the channel by subscribing. This will ensure that you won't miss any video when they get published. Thanks for watching.